Hi my dear students welcome to the 5th standard max class i hope you all are doing good and safe today we are going to start our first chapter that is large numbers so let's get started in this chapter we will be learning place value for 8 digit 9 digit and 10 digit numbers Okay let's have a quick recall of what we have already learned in standard 4 so what are numbers basically numbers are a set of standard symbols numerals that represent quantities the symbols for each number are written using 10 digits that is from 0 to 9 Each of these symbols is called a digit. Now, what is a numeral? A single digit or a group of digits representing a number is called a numeral. For example, the digits 3 comma 49 are called numerals. And writing numbers in words is called numeration. example 349 are written in words this is called numeration now if you look at this picture each place to the left is 10 times greater than the place to its right that means as we move from the right to the left the place value increases 10 times with each place so the places are ones place tens place hundreds place thousands place 10000 place and so on moving on to the place value of a number the place value is the value of the digit because of its place in the number for example when we take the number 256 what would be the place value of 2 here the place value of 2 is 200 that means 2 multiplied by 100 it will be 200 now the place value of 5 is 50 that is 5 tens and the place value of 6 is 6 ones which is 6 moving on to the indian and international system of numeration there are two system of numeration the first one is indian system of numeration and the other one is international system of numeration indian system of numeration places the value of digits in the sequence of ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakhs ten lakhs crore ten crore and so on similarly in the international system of numeration the place value of digits goes in the sequence of ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousands millions ten millions hundred millions and so on when there is a small number for example 28 we can instantly read it as 28 but when there are many digits in a number it is confusing to read so to make reading and writing larger number easier the digits are broken into periods that is the numbers are separated by commas let's take an example of an eight digit number 45632524 according to the indian system of numeration the first comma will be inserted after three digits from right that is after five then after two digits 
that will be after 3. Then the next comma will be after 5 and so on. According to the international system of numeration, the first comma will be inserted after 3 digits from right. That will be after 5. The next comma will be after the next 3 digit. That is after 6 and so on. So, in Indian system of numeration, we read it as 4 crore 56 lakh 32,524 and in international system of numeration we read it as 45,632,524 Indian system of numeration the smallest 8 digit number is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 we read it as 1 crore so what is the greatest 8 digit number yes 9 crore 99 lakh 99999 in the international system of numeration the smallest 8 digit number is 10 million and the greatest 8 digit number is 99 million 999,999. Now, if we add 1 to the greatest 8 digit number, we will get the smallest 9 digit number that is 10 crore. In Indian system of numeration, the smallest 9 digit number is 10 crore and the greatest 9 digit number is 99 crore 99 lakh 99,999. In the international system of numeration, the smallest 9 digit number is 100 million, the greatest 9 digit number is 999,999,999. Million, 999. Now, if we add 1 to the greatest 9 digit number, we will get the smallest 10 digit number. That will be 100 crore. Hence, in the Indian system of numeration, the smallest 10 digit number is 100 crore and the greatest 10 digit number is 999 crore 99 lakh 99,999. In the international system of numeration, we read the smallest 10 digit number as 1 billion and the greatest 10 digit number is 9 billion 999 million 999,999. We have come to the end of this session. Hope you got some basic idea about place value large number in this chapter. Thank you.